this year we are introducing this prayer garden space. Uh, and the prayer garden has been a collaborative effort that a lot of folks have poured a lot of love into over the last year or two. Of course, we originally had it a position for a different space on campus, which Hurricane Michael uh, undermined in 2018. So we have moved it into what is really a better space located behind the admissions house and a few to parking lot. And uh, the prayer garden is it's a space for students to come find uh, solitude, find a place to reflect, to read, to pray, to meditate. It's a quiet space. It's a beautiful space. Uh, there is a chapel here that's kind of safe in the rain. And, uh, but it's also a space for some of our more sacred gatherings. So oftentimes when we've had a, uh, you know, maybe a, a faculty or staff member who's passed away or, uh, you know, something where there was some kind of national tragedy and we wanted to have a prayer vigil, we didn't really feel like we had a good space to gather, a, a good sacred healing space uh, for our community to gather. And so that's really a large part of the function of the prayer garden. It gives us a space to come together and to remember, to lament, to pray, um, and to worship. And, and uh, we've already had a chapel service here. We'll have more chapel services here in the future for our students. And so um, it's a developing space. It still has a long ways to go. We want to plant a lot of things. We want to get the turf prepared. Um, lots of things we want to do in the future for the prayer garden. Um, but even now, it, it's proving to be an asset for our, our Avery community.